hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix an error which says the following components are required to run this program microsoft visual c 2015 runtime so if you are receiving this error message when you try to open any game or when you try to open any application then please follow the steps shown in this video now in order to fix this error copy this link the link is provided in the video description open any browser and then open this link this will take you to the microsoft we website where you can go ahead and download visual studio 2015 2017 and 2019 files and even visual studio 2013 files so first of all you have to go ahead and install this x86 version so click on it the, once you click on it a exe file will download you have to go ahead and run this exe file then click on run now here you will see the install option or the repair so just click on install or repair whatever you see and click on yes to allow now once the installation is done close this window do not restart your computer right now because we have to install more files so go ahead and install the next version that is x64 click on this exe file and then run this exe file then click on run click on repair or install whatever you see then click on yes to allow and once the installation is done close this window do not restart now scroll down and here you will see visual studio 2013 so click on this link this will take you to the next page where you can download the visual studio c++ 2013 file scroll down and click on this exe file and you have, you have to go ahead and install x64 version so here you can see english united states click on this link this will download the exe file run this exe file click on run click on repair or install whatever you see and then click on yes to allow once done close this window then scroll down and install x86 version again english united states click on this link run this exe file click on run click on repair or install whatever you see and then click on yes to allow once done close this window and then go to the start menu then click on this power icon and then click on restart and after the restart you can go ahead and try to open the game or application you will not receive that error message anymore so that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.